everyone, Tommy here with Outrider USA. Hope you're doing well today. We're just gonna go over what it looks like to transfer into the Outrider Coyote from a wheelchair. So we got a, a little bit of footage uh, to show what that looks like. We're just gonna talk about what you need to do to prepare to transfer. So the first thing you're gonna do to prepare to transfer is of course, as much as possible, make sure you're on a level surface. Um, depending on how your parking brake or brakes are set up on the Coyote, if you don't have parking brakes, go ahead and put some kind of band around the brake levers. If you do have lever-based parking brakes, go ahead and pull that lever and push the pin through. Um, some other machines have a uh, separate lever actuated parking brake. Whatever you got, make sure you set the parking brake so the machine's not gonna move on you. Um, and then depending on which side you transfer onto, generally gonna have a quick release on the side that's set up to transfer. Uh, so you're gonna release the quick release on that side, you're gonna pull that lever up, and out of the way, and then you can fold the bar down to uh, make a clear path here to transfer. Then you're gonna roll up parallel to the machine here on your uh, wheelchair, or if, uh, if walking is not an issue and you just like a little assistance to make it easier to transfer, you can set up a chair here next to it, sit down in the chair, and then slide laterally into the seat. Um, once you're in, uh, it's just a reverse operation. The bar gets folded back up, make sure when you fold your quick release lever back down that you got plenty of tension on that lever so it's solid. Uh, then you're in the cockpit ready to go. You can release your parking brake and uh, then you're ready to ride. Enjoy.